Duty continues, adding in new and ridiculously overpowered weapons with every update. Here's how I keep up with all those new additions and have begun leveling weapons from zero to their max in just 20 minutes or less. Welcome to Warzone Bootcamp. No! Before diving in any matches, you'll first need to take the correct steps to ensure you'll get the absolute maximum experience points, and those steps are as follows. First, while in the pregame lobby, you'll want to make sure you have the weapon you're trying to level put into a loadout. You should also make sure that specific loadout is favorited, as it'll guarantee it's the one that's pre-selected for you once you launch into a match. Next, I recommend setting up a second class with another weapon you're trying to level up. This will give you the opportunity to switch to this weapon within the match if you complete your current weapon, resulting in less time wasted. Which brings us to our final pregame step, activating your double weapon XP tokens. While these can be turned on within a match, doing so could result in lost experience. To minimize those losses, I'd have whichever match you're jumping into already found before you activate those tokens. Additionally, don't forget to reactivate the tokens as often as necessary or stack them for the time you plan on leveling weapons. Of course, there is a chance you don't have any XP tokens available, and if that's the case, just skip this step, no big deal. As for the first method, this is the simplest one there is. To start, of course you'll need to complete the previously mentioned steps, but furthermore, go ahead and jump into whatever game mode you enjoy most. Once you're jumping out of the plane, find yourself a contract. This can be whatever contract you like completing or whichever one is easiest on that drop. Personally, I use the safe cracker contracts as with a teammate, they're pretty easy to complete. As you find yourself working on this contract, you'll wanna go ahead and figure out where your next available contract is going to be. And if you're playing in a mode other than solos, you can have your teammate grab a helicopter and move toward the next contract. Basically, all you need to do is complete as many contracts as possible throughout the match, and before you know it, you'll easily have your weapons leveled without even having to change too much about the way you're playing or the enjoyment you have within the game. To be clear, I recommend this one if you have a bit of time on your hands and prefer a more leisurely approach to leveling, or if your teammates don't need to level anything and just want to get some wins. This is actually the method I use most often just because I can do it without really putting my focus into its completion. As for the second method, if you've purchased the full Modern Warfare 2 game, the fastest strategy for leveling weapons is to play the game mode Grind. If you're unsure of what the game mode is, it's basically kill confirmed, but instead of immediately being given the points for picking up a dog tag, you'll need to carry the tag to the designated drop point on the map. The beauty of this is that each player can carry a whole bunch of tags, meaning if you are to eliminate a player that's carrying all those tags, you can pick them up for yourself and gain that experience over and over and over. If your team or the enemies never get the chance to take it to their capture point, you're basically just passing the tags between each other and gaining large amounts of experience with each elimination. Every single time you grab a tag, you'll receive 25 experience. And while that may not seem like a lot, if you find yourself on one of the smaller maps, especially shipment, those tags add up like crazy, and within 20 minutes, you can find yourself with a fully leveled weapon. Of course, there's a bit more to it if you really want to maximize your weapon experience, and that's all to do with throwing a few things into your loadout before diving into a match of grind. You'll first want to put on decoy grenades. These are great to be used every single time you spawn in the match. All you'll need to do is throw them where you hear shooting, which shouldn't be too hard in smaller maps. These are going to guarantee small but useful bits of experience that add up a ton over time. Beyond that, set your fourth perk to Overclock and your field upgrade to DDoS. Overclock is going to allow you to charge and recharge your field upgrades more quickly, while the DDoS can be used similar to decoy grenades as a way to get bits of experience whenever possible. DDoS is best used in high activity areas where you know you can affect as many enemy players as possible. Once you've combined using decoy grenades and DDoS field upgrades with playing on the game mode grind, you're guaranteed to level your weapons faster than ever before. Moving into our final method, this is basically going to be multiple methods smashed into one, giving you the best chance at leveling your weapons as fast as physically possible. And the best part is it's in Warzone. Here's what you'll need to do. Whether you're playing by yourself or with a group of friends, you're going to want to select whatever resurgence mode is available in Warzone. Make sure you have squad fill on before you search for a match. This is incredibly important because those teammates, whether they mean to or not, are going to help you level your weapons. 
Once you're in the match, you're going to want to land on and activate a most wanted contract near a buy station. But while that's working, you need to find $2,500 and take that money to buy the weapon you're trying to level. Once it's in your hands, your goal is to complete the contract as quickly as possible. The cool thing is, with most wanted contracts, every single chest, bag, or even medicine cabinet opened results in a 10 second reduction to the contract timer. Now, of course, there are a limited number of most wanted contracts on the map, and the bigger the map is, especially on Vondel or Almazra, you may find it tough to do more than three or four. But in the meantime, you can pick up other contracts that give you similar amounts of experience. However, I would recommend sticking to scavenger or safecracker contracts depending on the map. These are relatively easy to complete, but more importantly, if you have some friends as your teammates, you can all split up and get them done very quickly on your way to the next Most Wanted. To be clear, your objective is to complete as many Most Wanted contracts as possible, because these give you an insane amount of experience. But if it's going to take you a second to get to the next one, do a different contract in the meantime. Once you've completed as many as possible, staying in the game is entirely up to you. Whether I'm on track to win or lose, I'd personally be hopping out of the match just to move on to the next one in hopes of maximizing my time. While that may have been the final strategy, for those that made it this far, I have a few secrets I'm going to share to make you gain even more experience than you already are, and it's incredibly easy to do. First, every single time you load into a match, you're given the opportunity to get some experience before the actual game even starts. As the pre-match timer counts down, while the eliminations may not count toward the total you'll find yourself with at the end of the game, the experience you gain from them will absolutely count toward leveling your weapons. So, load in with your favorited loadout and get as many eliminations as you possibly can. Beyond that, you may want to set up a specific loadout for Warzone to guarantee maximum efficiency, and my recommendation for that loadout is as follows. Set your primary to whatever weapon you're trying to level, but make sure your secondary is some sort of very light melee weapon. This is going to allow you to more quickly traverse any map you're on for the sake of completing contracts. Additionally, I would personally recommend using smoke grenades and your choice of lethal. As for the perks, double time is a necessity for getting around quicker, but I'd also use Battle Harden to make you more immune to equipment, resupply to recharge your own equipment, and lastly, ghosts to ensure enemies have a much harder time finding you on the map. Moreover, while Resurgence game modes are usually the go-to way to level weapons, there is one game mode that knocks everything else out of the water. This game mode is Plunder. Plunder is great because it's played at a faster pace than regular BR, but it rewards the same if not sometimes more experience. Additionally, you can respawn as much as you like and you respawn with your weapons. This guarantees you can get experience throughout the whole match with zero issues. As for my last secret, this one should be pretty obvious, but I've been told too many times that it's not, so here it is. Have the weapon you're trying to level in your hand when you complete any sort of contract. If you don't do that, the experience points will not go to that weapon. But don't worry, beyond these secrets, I have plenty more to share, which can be found in the video on screen now.